everyone, it's Kim. Um, this is UPS Series card number six, and I'm just going to do a very simple thank you card. Um, the last before uh, prior five did a lot of die cutting on the Cricut, and this one's just going to be real soft and subtle. I'm using the um, Cherished Loved Sizzix Stamps, and it comes with a lot of, I, this is a really cool um, die and stamp set, by the way, with all these words here, and I love these, and I'm going to be using this. But one thing cool about this is if you want to die cut a couple of individual roses to pop up or whatever you want to do, you can um, do that because they include the dies. But I'm not going to do that for this one. Um, I mentioned, I think, in my first series of video that um, we are trying to keep the cards real simple just because they, um, the cost of them is not going to be a lot of money. So we want to make sure that we're getting getting what we are working for. And, and I'm going to be using this. This is a Sizzix die. These are all the dies with it here. And um, I'm trying to see if there's a name on it that I did not put. Flowers and Center. Miss you. Stamps and Dice Sizzix. I'm sorry, I don't have a name on this, but um, I'm going to be using the thank you on this and some Copic markers. So I went ahead and just um, tried out some Copic markers and just, you know, to try and decide what I want to, how I want to color these. And so I came up with the YG67 and YG63. We're going to go ahead and paint the paint. Hmm. We're going to color the green first. Now, since they've already been die cut, I do want to try to stay in the lines as best I can. And um, this really won't take but a couple of minutes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I embossed a piece of white cardstock with a frame embossing folder. And see, that's done already. And um, show you how I'm gonna, you know, put a little bit of foam tape behind it. I wish I had. I but I watch a lot of Jennifer McGuire's videos, and she uses Fun Foam, I think they refer it to. And um, I just haven't purchased that yet, but I do like it, especially for these carts. For carts, you know, to put like a full piece on. For, but for now, I'm gonna use my foam strip. And I have not bought them anywhere except Walmart, but. They do come in much larger sizes than what I'm buying. That's probably more cost effective. So I'll have to check into that too. Okay, so all my greens have that bottom layer. All my leaves, not my greens, my leaves. And then I'm going to come in and just come through the middle and just shadow it a little bit and fill in those any white spots that I missed. Um, I don't know if you guys are good at Copic markers or want to be, um, I'm going to leave a link for you on a lady. Her name is Sandy Alnick, and um, she used to run the Operation Right Home organization. I used to do cards for the soldiers, but um, she is probably the best Copic marker. Well, I don't know. Christina Warner is pretty good, too. Um, the best Copic marker, I'm going to say, person, artist, that I she just really knows how to mix all those colors. Super impressive. Okay, so I'm going to put that away. And we're going to go with yellow. I've got Y11 and Y13. And I chose uh, yellow roses because yellow is the friendship rose color. Or at least I was told that. I should have checked that before. I should have Googled that, right? Um, if I were going to put red, then I would probably do, you know, an I love you card. And I'm planning on putting a little bit of either stickles or some Nouveau drops in the little things here. Um, I did not pull those out for this video. So um, I'll put the picture of the card on the blog and then you can see if you're interested and how I finished that. All right, so let's just go ahead and put a little bit of more dark in. Um, I just had a thought. I think I'm going to go ahead and do Winka Stella on these as well. Just brightening that up a little bit. 
Now, um, this is a very relaxing technique for me. Um, I am going to be doing four of these, so probably by the fourth card I'll be ready to stop. A lot of color. Do you ever hear that scratching noise? That's my dog. He scratches his spot that he's going to lay, which would be my couch in my craft room, which upsets me. All right, so we're going to... I'll go ahead and put these on and, um, you know, we'll finish up the card and then I'll do with that, the rest of that. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, let me show you the folder that I use. This is the Floral Border by Doris. And this is what it looks like. Oh, wrong side. Very, very pretty. Kind of tricky. You have to make sure that you've got your um, paper in correctly. And um, I'm advising you to do a five and a half by um, four and a quarter. Um, because it goes right on the edge. So if you cut it any shorter, it probably isn't going to fit the whole image in. All right, let's go ahead and pop this up. I'm going to put it on the edge, but not too far, because I don't actually want my foam adhesive to show underneath the card. That looks good. I know the foamy adhesive also comes in a more narrow um, product as well. It's not always this big. All right, there's my 110 pound cardstock. It's exactly the same size. I'm just going to line that up and flip it up. Make sure that it's straight on the card and we're good to go. So it's got a little bit of dimension to it without you being able to see the foam adhesive. All right, let me just take a quick moment here and see how I want to do this. And I'm going to pop that one up there. Okay, so we're going to single pop this one. You know, let me grab my scissors. I was getting lazy there for a minute. We're going to double pop that one. So you can have three um, layers, I guess, dimensions, three types of dimension. Take this off. Okay, since so this is going to be down on it, I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. It's going to be flat on the card. Right there, I think I decided. Yep. Because I'm going to put my sentiment right down there. That's sort of already stuck. Oh, let me get that one sec. I should have taken my phone out of my craft room. Um, and then we're going to do it with this one here. Alrighty. Oh, that looks so pretty. Alright, so let's do our thank you. Oh, that's my stamp for my roses. I can set that aside. On here, and I just kind of looking at the stamp thinking it needs a little bit more in the middle and so I, while I was waiting for the phone call to stop ringing I went ahead and grabbed my C1 I'm going to stamp this out first okay that's going to go right here oh I'm going to have to try that again if I double over it, it's okay. I can go ahead and put it on a banner or something. Oh, okay. That worked out. Close that up. <clears throat> so there's the C1. And I'm not going to push down real hard. I just want to have a little bit of a background color. That's just a really, really light gray. And I've already zoomed the camera out, but um, you know, I'm just going around here a little bit of light gray. Just to fill in that white white. Give it a little bit more contrast. And I'm grabbing my Wink Estella. Uh, 
I did, and then I dropped it, just so you know what's going on up there. And this is the clear. I'm going to make sure I didn't grab the white. And I'm going to go over each of these. This will look real pretty. Okay, now I'm trying to decide what color I want in between here. Um, so I want to think about that. Um, but as far as the design of the card goes, that would be it. Just a simple thank you note. Uh, if you have any questions um, or suggestions on any of the techniques, um, please leave a comment because I could use some help. <laughs> have a great day.